a new comet is brightening up in the night sky. This new comet is called Pan Stars. It will be visible in the constellation Camelopardalis. And because it is a circumpolar comet, it will be visible for a long time. It has already developed a plasma coma and a tail. Considering the distance, the tail is quite impressive. The diagram shows the development of its brightness over time. Our estimates show that it will be at its brightest by the June 2020. The comet is approaching the Earth from quite a strange angle. The direction which is coming is opposite to the comet Atlas. Both of them are at the same time now in the Camo Leopardelis constellation. It may develop an impressive tail as the time goes by. And even it may become visible to the naked eye. Let's hope for that.
Okay, I changed the resolution to 4K. Hopefully, you will not see much pixelation. You will see anyway, but uh, not as bad as it was. What you see is now passing the center of the picture, hopefully, is what is called as Aristarchus Plateau. And the light is not very good and also the clouds are closing a little bit. And you can see the color of it is it's different. So one of the olivine rich area, olivine is a metal that, uh, the mineral that exists in the mantle area of the planets crust mantle core if you remember these are the layers of the planets planetary bodies uh, which are made of rock or any other surface has this kind of layering any object differentiated object gravitational So it's now passing the center, top, top of the center, above the center. And the brightest spot is the Aristarchus crater itself. And to the lower part of the image, you can see the Reiner gamma. Oh, suddenly it became so clear. Try to. Bring it to the center. Yeah, it's now right dead center. I'm doing all this with my mobile camera, but uh, I use a bracket, which is one of these ones that I bought. Digicam attachment adapter, I bought it from China. Really, I'm happy with the result. through the eyepiece directly. I just enjoy the view. Um, yeah, good as a map. All these lunar features are created by impact. Circular features are called crater. Well, the craters to me are superficial because what you see is the geological feature like mountains, faults, even faults. I've seen some faults, can you believe it? And some uh, thrust faults and faults. You have to look for them. And as my skill in digiscoping increases, I will try to show you more of these features. Aristarchus again is at 2 o'clock, and uh, at 2 o'clock or half past 3, you can see the tiny dot of the Reiner gamma, that mag uh, magnetic anomaly. The superficial feature, they say that is because the soil of the moon, the lunar soil in that part, due to the magnetic field, can, could not be weathered, uh, blackened, darkened by the um, solar wind and that's the reason the, they have remained bright they deflect the charged particles you know that charged particles deflect in the magnetic field so if there is a magnetic field there although weak it is working 
So of the interesting anomalies. So you can imagine if you're a science writer, science fiction writer, you can write about that. <laughs> it's a city or something to trying to protect itself from the damaging and carcinogenous effects of the sun and uh, yeah, magnetic storms from the sun. Yeah, that's actually a very good story. Huh? <laughs> if you're writing, write it. Right, just give credit to me. Hard for try. Beautiful, magnificent uh, Caucasus Mountains. And the moon is a spherical, clearly, you can see when I focus on the edge of the picture, the side of it is auto.